Hello everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So today's mini review is for an expansion and it's called Yokai from Ayalo Games. So let's go see what I thought about it. Okay, so first things first. This Yokai game is an expansion for Kanajua. Kanagawa, but not to be confused with Champions of Kamagawa, a, a meaning you're going to need to own the base game before you can use this expansion. So if you haven't heard of it before or you're curious to check it out, you can go look at my video first and then come back here and see what you think about this expansion. So what's this expansion all about? Well, the Yokai expansion very much continues the painterly theme that we saw in the base game. And in it, you get to add new objects to your print and to earn different diplomas for them. And you get to see things like kites, umbrellas and lanterns. However, it isn't all plain sailing as you have to watch it for the malicious Yokai spirits who steal your victory points. In the expansion box, you get three Yokai models, 54 lesson plan cards and 11 new diploma tiles. And if you want to have a closer look at any of these, why not check out my unboxing video. How different is this expansion from what's in the original game? Um, when it comes to the lesson cards, ever so slightly, you've got new objects to paint and to put in your paintings, but they are judged differently than we're used to in the sense that you need to track where things are in your painting as opposed to the number of them which you have. The addition of the yokai um, is a difficult one because these come from your lesson cards and if you have them at the end of the game they're worth negative points. Now there are cards to move them around so you can give them to your opponent and there is also one tile that will give you victory points for having them. Um, on a whole this expansion really just kind of adds a little bit extra or a bit of a twist to the set collection we've been used to and the yokai add a meanness element that we've not really seen before. How does this affect the original game? Well, the changes it brings about are rather subtle, in particularly in terms of the paintings and the gold tiles. They're similar to what you've seen before, just different enough to keep you interested. And I like the fact that there are new objects to paint and that you can choose to add in which ones you want into your deck at any time, making it kind of modular. The yokai element is a negative one and it's one I think that adds a little bit of an extra edge to your decision making. Is this worth having? Well, the Yokai expansion really does just carry on the legacy where we have this fun, chill, and easygoing game. I do like the fact that the cards that have been added don't increase the difficulty level. Rather, instead of the game stepping it up, it feels like it steps it out and adds a little bit of breath to it. And I really appreciate it being not more challenging than it was before, but yet being different enough to be enjoyable. The yokai are my least favourite part of this game, in particular at two players. There isn't enough ways to move them tactically that you feel like you're in control of them, rather you feel you get lumped with these negative points and you can't really do anything about it. Now I can see why it might be interesting as part of the draft portion, you know, trying to leave somebody with the cards with the yokai, but none of it feels very intentional or enjoyable and it seems to really go against the core of what this game is all about. Um, now, despite all of that, um, for 15 euros, that's the cost of this expansion, I do think that the cards and the tiles are worth it, and you could elect to not play with the yokai if you wanted to. Overall, if you've enjoyed the base game, there's enough here in the expansion to add something pretty great to it. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about yokai, why not leave them in the comments below? I'd really, really like to hear from you. If you'd like to see something nice, why not like or subscribe to the channel so that you can get future updates about the videos I might make. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing that old collection of mine. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.